Yeah, nice to see you. What would you like to drink, love? And what have you got? Please. Well, what have we got? Advoca. <laughs> <laughs> Bucks Fizz. Bucks Fizz. Pink Lady to Serrano. I'll go for that. Uh, Bucks Fizz, please. Bucks Fizz. Thank Why not? Thank you. Thank you. Now, what are you like with when you've had a few drinks? Nightmare. You don't get more sweary, do you? <laughs> Jesus. You don't need alcohol to make me swear, let me I'm tell you. I'm going to say. Um, what, no, what? I'm, I'm, I'm normally not too bad, actually, you know that. Yeah. So, um... Do you get fruity? Do you get so... violent? What happens? <laughs> no, I get more fruity than violent. Oh, <laughs> oh well, let's you. see you get fruity. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much indeed. Um, that looks like piss. <laughs> All right. You're not getting nightmares now, love. You're not slagging off the restaurant. I'm very poor, you bloody drink. I know, I know, I know. Is it real or is it fake? Is it real? Of course it's okay. real. I'll okay. tip it up a okay. little bit. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I've had drinks with all my other guests. I'm a little bit tiddly. Okay. And I've had a couple of lemon sips. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. Merry Good. Christmas, Thank my you. love. Good to see you. Now, we don't see much of you because you're so busy in America. <laughs> Sorry. Let's say it, don't spray it. <laughs> Sorry. There's something not quite right there. Are you sure that's Bucks Fizz? It is. It's Sainsbury's own. Is that... <laughs> <laughs> Look, right. Where's the sell by date? I've got all little bits in mind, like little bits of. Don't yeah. let me sip it. So... <laughs> Yeah, there are little bits in that, but that's not the point. Don't spit it on your bloody carpet. Sorry, excuse me, sorry. OK, excuse me. Yeah, what's this show you're doing? Um, so, uh, we just finished Hotel Hell, um, yeah. which is almost like a bigger version of Kitchen Nightmares, where you go around and um, fix these hotels. So, yeah, I mean, if I've got any piece of advice for anyone that's booking into a hotel that gets a free upgrade, yeah. i.e. the honeymoon suite, don't take it. <laughs> no, why? Well, I had this black light, OK? And um, I do this, like, sort of black light search, and I put it on the ceiling. It was like a sea of galaxy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so what is it there? What is it? I, I, well, I didn't know it could shoot that thing. far. Well, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was pretty disgusting. So, really, that's the well, people... Oh. You, you check into a hotel and you think, wow, how exciting. It's been upgraded to the honeymoon suite, but please don't take well, it. Well, I take it. I go, oh, my God, honeymoon suite, yeah. Yeah, but just think what's going on in there. Yeah, because, of course, everyone's, like, you know, mm -hmm. having, having a bit of how's your father, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Well, you and Simon Cowell are absolutely huge in, in America. Do you think they get off on us Brits going over there, having a go at them, slagging them off? <laughs> That's crap. <laughs> Do it again. Yeah, they love the Britishness, yeah. but they don't like the sort of front of yeah. being that blunt. Yeah. And, I, I, you know, I just... I, I call it as I say it. But didn't the man ask to ask you uh, he'd give you money if you called him a fucking donkey? <laughs> <laughs> he wanted me to swear at him. He just he was going up to like twenty five grand to curse for a uh, a charitable thing. He said, "Look, please, you know." To call him a donkey for tw twenty five. Twenty five grand to shout and call him a fucking donkey. I mean, what a dick. <laughs> twenty five grand. I'd wear the saddle and let him ride me for. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! Isn't it easy? It's in the heat of the I'm moment. I'm like, back it up, love. Back it up. Here's <laughs> <laughs> me bank details. Is it in yet? <laughs> Honestly. No, but it was in the heat of the moment. And so if, oh, I, I, if I go for someone, I get upset and I'm passionate. And I said, mate, you're getting misconstrued because yeah. when it's... When, when, when you're in the heat of the action and you're in the kitchen, yeah, I want to get it straight off my chest. But I wouldn't just go up to some random guy and say, hey, donkey, give me 12. I wouldn't, I wouldn't no, do that. No, 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 no. Uh, you said Simon had advised you to have a bit of cosmetic work done. <laughs> Do you not think I need my money back? But, well, uh, <laughs> listen, you said it, love. No. 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 <laughs> what, what did he tell you to have done? Uh, uh, Was it a boob job like his? So, <laughs> <laughs> Come on, his tits aren't that big. But, it's just the way they like, they meet at the back. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, over there, they, they, they don't really put that kind of pressure on you uh, in terms of having to look good for a camera. Yeah. Um, and I think that um, there's so much of it going on over there. I, I, I think they like the real sort of core Britishness. I think that's yeah, what they take yeah. on board more you than anything. You are what you are. Exactly that. Because I've got to talk about that. Is it true what I read that your kids were, you woke up and they were putting pound coins <laughs> in your forehead, in like you're an Asda trolley? Uh, yeah, no, that was, that was Tilly. Tilly's our youngest. 
And so she like empties her piggy bank out every Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> and I woke up one Saturday morning about 15 pound coins on my forehead. <laughs> I'm saying, Tilly, what are you doing? She said, Daddy, I'm trying to play noughts and crosses on your forehead. Oh. So, I mean, you know, I've always had a sort of, not a worried look, but I've always had that pensive yeah. sort of forehead. And I suppose now, at the ripe old age of 46, I think I'm finally grown into my face. You are, I think you've got a lovely face. Thank you. Oh, I do. Um, as a chef, how do you feel with people like Gokwan and Sophie Dahl getting their own cookery shows? Do you feel mm. a bit like... Back off, bitches. This is my job. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, do you know, I, I think the hard thing for me is that everyone seems to have a cookery show now. Everyone wants yeah. to do this and do that. And so that level of um, not just being copied, but everyone wants to do it because they want yeah. to sell a book. Um, I think if you can learn something from it. Yeah, yeah. But you don't mind them coming on your patch and stuff. No, come on. No, no. Do I look like that delicate, insecure individual? No, that, no I'm just on. asking. I mean, my no. new show, Alan's Carvery. <laughs> Is, um, <laughs> is, uh, yeah, I like that. But just in time for Christmas. I, I would never see you running a restaurant. I don't think you'd be Why? that. Why? What's that? No, What's because, that supposed to mean? No, but like, <laughs> sort of in the firing line, behind the scenes, uh, in the kitchen, the first minute there's any pressure. You'll be fucked. Well, do you know what? Because, <laughs> no, listen, you are so right, because I was a waiter, yeah, for a few years. Serious. In different, seriously. Me and chefs never got on, because chefs are the nut jobs. They're crazy, <laughs> they're psychos, and anyone here work for a chef. <laughs> and I couldn't carry the plates, I could only carry two. Serious. So, yeah, and he'd always slag me off, because you know the one, two, yeah. three, and so all that. Th three, three on there, and one yeah, on here. I'd so, it's a four plates. And one. Serious. And maybe a soup bowl in my mouth. Really? <laughs> <laughs> I can't see you being the most... What? Spit it out! No, but when you... You, 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 you walk funny. <laughs> I've seen the way you've walked before, but... Walk in a straight line. Right, OK. This is steak Diane and a prawn cocktail. OK. Table 12, table 12! <laughs> table 12! <laughs> How do you get on with the other TV chefs? Right. Do you get on? Because that's what we want to know. I have to be very careful whatever I say, because whatever happens, it always comes back to bite me on the arse. But, you know, there's some amazing chefs out there. I mean, yeah. phenomenal chefs. And I always said that I think competition's healthy. Yeah. Um, and I've been a bit naughty sometimes, ripping pages out of chefs' cookbooks and cooking their dishes, replicating them, then running down to Batsy Dog's home to see how many dogs would eat the shit. <laughs> <laughs> so I've been, I've been very yeah. bad. Yeah. So I, yeah. I, I give it out, I've got to take it in sometimes. Yeah. But, yeah, it's just banter. But you do get personal. You said Marco Pierre White looked like a member of the Taliban. I mean, look at this. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm right. Don't you? <laughs> to be fair, his chicken jihad is to <laughs> Okay. I know, I read that, so yeah. So, I worked with him for three years, and fuck me, he was a cunt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I told you that I'm uh, no, a Oh, my God. <laughs> now, when, when we, we had Jamie Oliver on a few weeks ago, when he was on, he said, your wife's a better cook than you. Is that true? <laughs> He did, he did. I, um, I think Jamie's got a crush on my wife, because every time he gets the chance to sort of mention anything about me, it always goes for my wife. But, um, listen, again, uh, talented guy. Yeah. Um, and for Christmas, all I'm going to do is give him a fucking good wash. <laughs> <laughs> so I, uh, we get on. We yeah, get you on. get on. We you get on. Have it's, the banter it's, it's, and all. it's banter. It's professional banter. Yeah. I think it's the same in sports. Yeah, cool. It's the same with you and Jonathan and... Yeah. Graham Norton. Graham... <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. Come on, it's banter. It's banter. It's banter. Um, you're doing another uh, Christmas cook-along live on Channel 4 on Christmas yeah. Day. Nightmare. How do you stop yourself swearing? I mean, it's live, it's on Christmas Day, I mean... Uh, do you know what? Turn o'clock in the morning. Um, first of all, I think it's the most stressful day uh, in, in the history of British cooking yeah. for everyone. So, uh, live for four hours, it's tough. Um, the kids are there, uh, Holly, Jack, Megan and Matilda, they all help out. Um, and, you know, we go live at 10 o'clock in the morning. And the excitement is across the four hours when you've got that turkey, literally three hours later, you yeah. all sit down, there's that big feast, and it's like, wow, 
you know, that's how to do the perfect Christmas lunch. And everyone's cooking along with you at home. Everyone's so cooking along. Nice, yeah. Yeah, it's nice. Well, we've got um, a clip. This is uh, the Hoff uh, last year, and you were showing him um, how to stuff a turkey. Right. <laughs> <laughs> well, apparently, that's how uh, Pamela Anderson auditioned for Baywatch. <laughs> 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 now, I start drinking on Christmas Day at breakfast time. Cos no. you can, cos it's Christmas, can't you? Yes. But by the end of the day, I can't even stand up. Especially that stuff. I can't, I can't. Could you teach me how to cook the perfect Christmas dinner? Yes, I will. Oh, I will. well, look, we've got to take a break there, Gordon. Join us again in a couple of minutes when me and Gordon will be getting stuffed in the kitchen and Kylie Minogue will be performing live. See you in part four. <laughs> Welcome back to part four. Kylie Minogue will be here in a bit, but now it's time for a Cooking with Gordon Christmas special. Cue the title. Oh, Cooking with Gordon. Right. Every Christmas, I have trouble with my turkey. OK. Could you show me what I'm doing wrong, Gordon? Sure. So, first and foremost important, you've got to really make it nice and moist. Moist. Start off. Oh, shall I get me turkey? Oh, yeah, first, Yeah, one please. second. Just Thank get me you. turkey. One second. OK, great. So, just get me turkey. Good. Get his turkey. <laughs> I'm sure he's got something up his sleeve. My ingredients. Welcome to Ready Steady Twat. <laughs> oh, I'm coming, love. I'm coming. Thank you. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> I've already been plucked. What do we do next? <laughs> OK. First thing, we need to season you. OK. OK. Get some butter yep. on your breasts. Yeah. And then make sure we turn you into something delicious. OK. OK? Right, you're going to do it to me. I'm going to get on here. <laughs> <laughs> You've got to show me. You've got to show me. Cos I'm going to help you. OK. Way. Ready? Ready? Yeah, go. Go. Oh, no! <laughs> Stay there. Stay there. Stay there. Be careful. Stay there. 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 Stay What's he doing? What's he doing? No, 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 no. What's he doing? No. I, just, I just need some butter on the breast. And some manure. Oh, no, 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 down, seriously. I'm going to base down all the cracks to make sure the bird stays nice and dry. <laughs> well, I'm wet, love. <laughs> and finally, just a little bit of oil on top. <laughs> 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 and finally, <laughs> some chipolatas on top. Yeah. They get nice and crispy. That's going to stay very moist yeah. for three and a half hours yeah. whilst it roasts in the oven. Oh, thank God a for that. A turkey done. Excellent. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. Right. <laughs> so once you've had me, yes, you've got. What do you do with all the leftover turkey in your house? Uh, do you know what? I'm going to make a very quick bubble and squeak. Oh, okay. wicked! Something absolutely delicious. So this turkey, then. I mean, um... yes. <laughs> is it someone I know? <laughs> It's not me gran, is it, or me aunt? <laughs> <laughs> that, that ain't beautiful. <laughs> Where'd you get that turkey from? Look at the state of you. Honestly. <laughs> you did it, love! <laughs> you, I blame you. <laughs> OK, right. right, yeah, OK. OK, pan nice not a touch of olive oil, OK? Chopped up chestnuts, OK? Yeah, OK, oh, chestnuts, yeah. Chestnuts, make it a little bit more festive. Oh, look at that. That's your leftover sprouts, just shredded. Yeah. Okay, some of the vegetables left, some parsnips and some carrots. Okay, I'm gonna fry a little egg as well at the same time. I'm gonna sit that on top. So bubble and squeak is perfect for like the morning after. It smells yeah. good, it does smell good. Okay, what's got the heat in there? 
from there, get your turkey. Now we've got the brown meat, yeah. the white meat. Okay, Fry wicked. that off as well. Yep. Okay. Oh, well, I'm going to get on with Thanks. mine. What are you making? Well, I have like a turkey smoothie. <laughs> with a bit of turkey, some cranberry, oh. and with a bit of lambrini in. <laughs> and you mix it up. Oh, come Cranberry. Cranberry. <laughs> That's what you call it. That's where it is. There you go. <laughs> Look at that. Now, Gordon, you just mix that all up <laughs> like that. It's on CFAX if you want to go and have a look. <laughs> <laughs> and then you just pour it out. Oh, we've got the top on. <laughs> Honestly. And there you go. So there's my bubble and squeak, finished with a fried egg and a little touch of HP. Ah, oh, well, let's see, let's see that. Well done. Brilliant. Well, let's welcome our judges. Let's see who they think is the best dish. Can we have so Ian McKellen and Miranda Hart? <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Right. This is what Gordon's made. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. And then I've made a Lambrini turkey <laughs> cranberry smoothie. Right. I'm going to see. Alan. Really tasty. I love you dearly, but I am not fucking tasting that shit. <laughs> Give it here. Go on. Down it. Down it. Just <laughs> <laughs> have a little bit of cheese in as well. That is <laughs> delicious. <laughs> Go on in. Go on then, Ian, have a bit of that. Oh no. Well who do you think's the winner? Who's the winner? Is it me or Gordon? That that is a, nothing will ever beat that. Uh, it has to be that. You mean I'm the winner? I'm the winner! <laughs> 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 Good luck with the cook along Thank live. You. I'll be watching. Promise me you're not going to turn up. No, dress as this. <laughs> Hi, I want to see me family. <laughs> well, fancy, everyone. Welcome to Friday night with me, Jonathan Ross. <laughs> Oh, I've just been messed up. Oh. <laughs> Don't patronise me, Alicia. 